N0117 Pax Romana is here. My name is Monza in collaboration with Frameleap today to bring you this graphics comparison guide. A very special thank you to Ubisoft for providing us early access to this game. Now let me remove my face cam so you can get a nice clear look at all the detail. To start off, we'll look at each preset from ultra high, very high, high, medium, low, and back to ultra high presets. This will give you a great feel on what each preset looks like for different scenes across the game. Throughout this guide, I will be narrating on and off, so be sure to watch the entire video all the way through to hear extra details on the best settings for your device. Heading into our next chapter, we have Texture Quality. The game features three texture presets. Each option has a noticeable visual difference between them, which can't be said for most games nowadays. Between low and high textures, there's around one gigabyte of VRAM difference. Now onto lighting quality. Some major noticeable differences from my side are in the shadows from light sources. The difference between very high and high and extra shadows from NPCs, for example here on the soldiers in this amphitheater. On medium or low, there are no shadows on NPCs, and the shadows for buildings is better when set to medium instead of low. Take note of all the stats laid out here beautifully on this custom overlay, a signature of the Frame Leap channel. After all that talk about shadows from light sources, here we are in overall shadow quality. Surprisingly very minor differences between presets here. Most notable on low settings is the lack of shadows from the vegetation. Between the low and high options, there's only a 5 FPS difference while giving you a significant visual difference. Ultra high takes an extra 3 FPS from high. Water quality. Also very minor differences here, on low you don't have SSR, space screen reflections, and there are fewer animation sequences, with noticeably less foam. Between all the options there are only a few differences in FPS, with medium looking the best for optimized settings. Object quality. This option adjusts the graphical complexity of buildings and vegetation. While it's hard to notice the differences on buildings, it's visible on the vegetation. Honestly, I can't see a big difference here between medium and low visually, and when it comes to performance. Setting it to high or ultra high is the best option for better visuals. Now for view distance. The most what the f does this option do parameter for me. It takes a huge hit on performance. While playing Anno, visually you won't see the difference, as almost no one will put the camera angle the way that you see a difference in the presets. Ultra high is highly demanding and medium is likely the best option here. Terrain quality. Very minor differences here between the presets. If someone showed me low, I would confidently say it doesn't look low. Because there's such a small difference here, low is likely the best option. Ray tracing. Probably the most or second most important setting is the choice between these four options. High, medium, low, or off. Ray tracing in game is presented as global illumination or RTGI, which simulates how light bounces off surfaces in real time to create more realistic and dynamic lighting. While high also features ray traced reflections, in my opinion, SSR reflections look great in Anno. 
crowds. For testing, FrameLeap constructed a situation of being CPU limited. GPU is not fully loaded, so FPS depends on CPU power. The difference in the percentage of CPU usage is minor, and you probably won't notice this as a player, as usually you'll be GPU limited, not CPU. Cool fact. While checking the settings, we discovered that if you change from ultra high to medium or low, NPCs will go home and hide. And when you return to ultra high, NPCs will come out of their home. Here's a quick detailed look at the graphic performance for each preset. Now here's the perfect summary for your optimized settings. Based on the testing, we figured this setup would be the most optimal. For texture quality, medium or high if your system allows. For lighting quality, medium. Not sure if anyone needs to see the dynamic fire on camera close up, but if you do, then go high. For shadow quality, medium. Definitely the best option, we still have shadows on vegetation. Water quality, add medium. Better than low and no difference between medium and high. Object quality, very high. This option has a small impact on performance and looks the same as ultra high. View distance, low. This option has huge performance hits without noticeable visual upgrades. Terrain quality, low. Minor visual differences here. Hard to say really what's the better option. Ray tracing, low or off. If your hardware allows, put it on low. You can't see much of a difference between low, medium, while high is just a huge waste of potential performance. Crowds at very high, as there's very, very minor impact on your CPU. And the people deserve to be free. So here is the quick performance comparison between high presets and our optimized settings. It's worth highlighting that our optimized settings have an extra 15 FPS compared to high presets. We compare GPUs at three different price ranges. The RTX 5060 for about 300 euros, mid-range RTX 5070 for about 500 euros, and the high-end RTX 5080 for around 1,100 euros. We ran each model under the same conditions, 1440p, the most common resolution, and the ultra-high preset with RTGI. The results show that even a budget card can handle 1440p at ultra settings with RT at high and 30 frames per second. Mostly. That's a success, running better than recent Unreal Engine 5 titles. What more can I say? Props to Ubisoft for making a game at this level so smooth no matter what your setup. That's it for today everyone, thank you so much for watching and be sure to leave some comments down below. Any questions we'll get right back to you and let us know, have you ordered Anno 117 Pax Romana yet? If not, you know what to do. This has been your boy Monza from the Monzaverse in collaboration with Frame Leap and we'll catch you in the next video.